Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we'll be having a look at Polestar. Big news for Polestar fans. Pensana teams up with Polestar for the world's first truly climate neutral car. Now, inward investment rare earth specialist Pensana has been selected to partner electric brand Polestar at its work towards creating the first truly climate neutral car by 2030. Now, Polestar Zero focuses on the entire supply chain transforming the way production processes are handled, that is from raw material to retailers. So there are a few things that we need to go through today. One is the Polestar share as well. It's a really important question. Is the Polestar stock going anywhere or is it just going nowhere? Now, starting on Monday today, the Polestar share actually closed the market at $6.97. And for a lot of people, it's starting to feel like the Polestar stock is going nowhere. And that's not a good thing, sitting at 14.7 billion. Now this actually ranks Polestar in six. Surprisingly, Polestar is more valuable than Xpeng, which is quite a surprise, but recently Xpeng has been losing a lot of market cap value. The ones that have been on the rise is Tesla, of course. It's been rising above $300 in terms of share price. Neo has been on the rise as well. Neo is now above Rivian once again, rightfully where it's supposed to be, way above Rivian because Rivian is just seriously overvalued. Now, a few different EV stocks such as Lee Auto, Lucid, Polestar, Xpeng, Fisker, Nikola, Proterra, they're all losing value. These are not just Chinese EV markets. Some of these brands are also American companies such as Fisker, such as Nikola, such as Proterra. And Polestar is actually Swedish. Now, granted, it is partly owned by a Chinese company, but you get the point. Nevertheless, it is a public company, so it's free to be owned by almost anyone. Now, at the end of last week, we were all hoping that Polestar would close at least above $8. But sadly, on Friday, Polestar did not close above $8. Now, this is not me saying that Polestar is going nowhere as a company. Absolutely not. They're actually doing a lot of things. Polestar is about to unveil their Polestar 3, the first SUV by the company in October, being made in America for the Americans. Polestar has big plans of producing the world's first truly climate neutral car. And I actually made a video on that, on their Project Zero. That's actually a really interesting project because for the longest period, Polestar has been focused on a way of sourcing these materials such as nickel, cobalt, lithium in a more ethical and cleaner way for the environment. A climate neutral car will promote just this idea because the simple fact is electric cars are way worse during manufacturing than gasoline cars. Gasoline cars, they tend to do the damage to the environment after they've been manufactured and produced. Electric car, they do the damage to the environment during and before manufacturing. Now for an electric car, after about 125,000 miles to roughly around 200,000 miles, the car starts to become a lot cleaner than a gasoline car or petrol car. So literally, you really have to keep electric cars for as long as possible, at least a quarter of a million miles to really get the full benefit of being cleaner than a petrol car. And that's cleaner than a petrol car, it's not completely clean. And let's not forget that Polestar also has a second SUV, a coupe SUV coming next year, along with the Polestar Roadster coming in 2026, a Polestar GT Sports sedan coming in 2024, I believe. They've got a lot of vehicles planned for the next three, four years. So the company is doing absolutely incredible. The company is going places. Their delivery numbers are starting to rack up, getting them closer to that 50,000 vehicles delivered by the end of the year. But let me remind you, we are in September. But let me remind you, we are in September, towards the end of September, which means that Q3, the end of Q3 is literally upon us. We've got one more quarter left for the rest of the year, and that Polestar has to make the most to deliver 50,000 vehicles. What's going to happen after Polestar deliver 50,000 vehicles? What's going to happen after they unveil the Polestar 3? Will the stock price finally be above $8? Will it settle above $9 or $10? But I'm being quite optimistic that at least between $8 to $9 is a stable price for the Polestar share if they accomplish their goals this year. And that's me being optimistic. So no, the Polestar share is not just going nowhere. The company is not just going nowhere. They're actually doing incredibly well. The car has been on the market for less than two years. Keep that in mind. So what they've accomplished so far, I would say that's pretty damn impressive. And the Polestar 2 is their main car. I'm not really bringing the Polestar 1 into the argument. The Polestar 2 is the most important right now. The Polestar 3 and Polestar 4 will be next upon that list. 
So the company is going places, the stock is going places, it's not just going into a dead end. But temporarily, because of the entire market being absolutely on the value, Pulse is being affected at the most. For one, they're a SPAC. For two, they're an EV SPAC. And those are not doing particularly well this year since the start to the end of the year. Not necessarily Polestar fault. They just entered into the market in a really bad time. Now, if this was last year at the peak of the market, you're looking at Polestar being probably over $30 billion in market value, which sounds absolutely ridiculous, but it's more than possible. Last year, the market was going absolutely ballistic. This year, the market is getting crushed. And once again, not Polestar fault. But let's focus on the partnership that they do have. Now, Pansena, the London listed company behind a 150 million complex separation plant at Salton, that's one of the 16 firms described at the forefront of their respective field to sign up. It comes at a wider call for collaboration that are issued by Volvo own team behind the Moonshot project. Now, Polestar actually announced a list of companies during their Zero project, a list of companies that are working with Polestar to make this possible. It's not just Pansana. Pansana is one of the few companies, and that's a really good thing. Now, obviously, having recently broken grounds on its ease of hull development, where extra low carbon magnet metal rare earth will be refined, it has been revealed this summer it will power offshore winds while handling material extracted from hydroelectric power state art in Angola. Now the chairman himself, Paul, he said that we're absolutely delighted to collaborate with Polestar and it's a partnership on the Polestar Zero project, which is aiming to unlock the full potential of electric vehicles by creating the world's first climate neutral car. Polestar is majority owned by Volvo, which we most of us know by now, which has a proud history of being pioneer safety in cars. And that's no secret. Volvo has made some of the best and safest cars in the world. They're well known for that stuff. Setting the standards for all car manufacturers worldwide, Volvo is well known for. So we believe that the Polestar Zero will set the standard for electric car industry. This is a truly innovative project that needs an independent and sustainable supply of rare earth metals and rare earths uh, materials. We're incredibly excited to be working with Polestar and its partners and are very much looking forward to Pansara playing a part in redefining the future of electric car manufacturing. Now, just to reiterate, ladies and gents, this is a real project Polestar is working on, and this could actually change electric vehicles manufacturing forever. Ultimately, this is where we want to be. We do want to produce electric cars with as little damage to the environment as possible. So this project is probably Polestar's most important project. And it's going to set a huge standards within the EV industry, within the manufacturing industry, of course. But an even bigger question for a lot of people, can Polestar actually achieve this goal? Now, for an industry in which governments and advocates are pushing for more acceleration, meaningful progress on climate... Polestar wants to show the world that they can actually change a lot more by working within their own company. Not just waiting on everyone else to get the job done, but someone's got to make the first move. And Polestar looks like they want to take the responsibility and make the first move. First mover's advantage can be a real factor. However, more often than not, others typically just wait for someone else to do it first and then they just copy them. And once again, this zero project by Polestar, it identifies and eliminate all greenhouse gases emissions from extraction of raw material to when the car is delivered to customers, including end of life handling. And to top it off, Polestar will do this without using offsets or credits. This is an incredible scope to accomplish, especially to accomplish this by 2030. That makes the task even more incredibly difficult. Now, truth to be told, Polestar isn't the only brand who set similar goals in mind. General Motors, Mercedes, amongst others, have committed to climate neutrality in their own way and range in deadlines. But that's a very typical thing for a lot of companies to do. They all set a deadline and they all say they're going to accomplish this by then. But truthfully, we won't really know until they do it now, will we? A lot of companies have a lot to say, but very few of them are actually making real change and doing what it takes to actually make a difference. And until I see that, I'm, I'm going to stay quite open-minded and welcome any idea. But for certainly, I want to see more companies take an action to source their materials in a much more ethical way. 
and to manufacture these vehicle in a much more sustainable fashion. You have to admit, it's not sustainable how we build electric cars right now. We have to get better at manufacturing. Long term, that's the, that's the gold. But apart from that, that's all I have for you today. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more. And of course, I'll see you in our next video.